Good afternoon. This is my heirloom Boston Merrill. Um, basically, you'll notice it's uh, like one of our videos. This is one of our Boston Merrill. I'm using this as an example. Um, this has been sitting on the counter, my counter, uh, for basically since September. So uh, the start of September. Um, so basically we're ready to process it. If you noticed, um, the only thing, it looks like there's damage there, but it's just from laying down on the ground like that. But it is not rotten. It's in great shape. Uh, there's nothing soft about it. It's still quite hard. Um, it's probably could have it sit out in the open, um, not even a, in a cool room for months and months and months uh, still. Uh, these are extremely hardy marrow um, they are they taste incredible uh, they are like a pumpkin but i would consider them a little bit more sugary they are wonderful for soups pies uh, or even just general cooking so i'm going to show you how to process a marrow uh, and take the seeds out um, because we specialize in pumpkins and marrows and stuff like that so uh, i thought you guys would enjoy seeing how we process a marrow so this is um, just the top, and what we're going to do is we're going to just trim off the top. If you'll notice, it's uh, literally an entire piece of squash. It's not hollow at the top. And then uh, we're going to just cut it down. Okay, hopefully, take the, take the knife here, there we go, got her open, now I'm going to open this up, and if you noticed, this thing is in excellent shape, it's been, the seeds are in great shape, we don't have any rot in the marrow, Everything looks really good, very yummy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this. Yeah, it's just been sitting here for months and months and months. And the seeds are in excellent shape. They're very viable, nice and plump, nice and thick. Uh, I got it nice and damp. You can feel it on your fingers. Um, the marrow is definitely not started to decay in any way. So it's a very fitting uh, that uh, heirloom uh, Boston marrow can literally just sit out on your counter and it need not rot. So uh, there's something to be said about, uh, you know, going with a heirloom seed and um, purchasing heirloom uh, fruit vegetables or, you know, squash, marrow, pumpkins because this stuff is made and designed to last months and months and months just on your counter um, even longer in your dark room if you have one so what I'll show you is how we're going to just process this to get the seed to dry it obviously uh, the marrow it is uh, extremely um, easy to cut and deal with so now if you're going to process this obviously you're just going to peel it just like this you're going to peel the pieces off just uh just the skin and on a boston marrow this is uh my favorite part because you can literally just peel it and then what you do is you cut it up into chunks just like this just like this and you can freeze these or um, basically put them into blender and bag them and then freeze them or you can can them any any way you want so how we do it is basically hold it up just like this we're going to just start scraping it down just like a pumpkin same thing you'll find the marrow is a lot easier if you start from the top You're just going to scrape it all down scrape it down just like this so you can eat everything on this marrow even if you wanted to eat the skin you can 
Um, but I, I would recommend peeling it before you process the marrow. The seeds are in excellent shape. Everything looks really good. So there's your Boston marrow seeds. And you can tell everything is in really good shape. Nothing's rotten or anything like that. So we got this. And then what you'll do is you're gonna take your, your pan and you're gonna just take the seeds off like this as an example. You just push them through your fingers just like this and get them onto the table. Keep them off the table, I'm sorry. And we're just gonna get them on there, and process on the pad. You'll notice uh, the difference between a like a marrow and a pumpkin is uh, your organic material is a lot thicker. Okay, and so we're just gonna just pinch that off, pinch that off, pinch this off. Okay, and you notice the bar Boston marrow seeds are about 15 to 20 percent larger on uh, on uh, on size in comparison to a pumpkin or a squash now this was a tiny marrow this is tiniest marrow i've ever grown in well my whole life and this one was about eight pounds so um the biggest one we've ever grown on the farm was about 48 and a half pounds and that thing is like massive but I, I tell you, you're going to get the same amount of yield on seed. If you can uh, have this question, you're going to have the same amount of yield in seed as between between 15 and 35 pounds. So you're going to grow a Boston marrow between 15 and 35 pounds. You're going to get the same amount of seed. If you go anything higher than 35, 40 pounds, you're going to get a little bit less. Um, the seeds will be a significantly larger. You'll get less, but basically that's your your optimum growing weight in return for um, marrow um, to eat and process and seed is between basically 15 and 30 pounds. Okay. Sorry about that. Camera's running out of time. Anyways, so once again, so your optimum size for this uh, for a boss marrow is between 15 and 30 pounds, and it'll match up for the amount of weight you get for your boss marrow as a, a product and uh, as seed. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, basically, just spread it out once again. The organic material, if you want to wash everything off, you can make it look pretty so you can dry it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this amount of organic material is reasonable. Uh, it's not going to smell too bad. Um, so, like I said, if, if you want to go with this and let it all dry off, it takes a good month, month, month and a half to dry it really, really good. Um, so it's uh, nice and cured. And then you can uh, clean and process your seed when you're ready. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.